Hey guys, I've uh, had my car for about a week now. It's APR stage one tuned. I'm making 326 horsepower. Uh, it's like 320 something to the crank. I have to look it up, I'm not too positive. I have the dyno sheet in the house. But anyways, um, I get my H&R uh, VTR springs in this weekend. I also have some rotoforms and some bigger tires. Uh, these tires right now that I'm running are uh, 235s. They're pretty thin, and the the, the sidewall is like bending when I when I turn at like 100 miles an hour. Anyways, I'm getting 255s, which what I had on my bug, same tire. I'm gonna see if 245s if those don't fit. But uh, I have some CVT rotoforms coming in, and uh, we're. we're Jesus, Wheel Warehouse is uh, doing all my work for me, for my suspension and wheels. They've always done all my cars, all my dad's cars they've lowered, so they're really reliable. If you guys want to uh, check them out, it's Wheel Warehouse. They're up down in Orange County. They they do really good work. Never had any problems with any cars. They're super uh, reliable, super fast on response. Always make sure the fitment works for your car. I was going to do full coilovers for this car, but I found out that my... Uh, my car has active suspension. A lot of uh, a lot of you guys didn't know that. I, I don't have a flash on right now. Let me see if I could show you on the side. There's like a um, all the new uh, Jettas and GTIs have this thing called active suspension. There's uh, you can't really see, but there's like a canister in there when you change into comfort, sport, and <clears throat> like normal drive mode. It uh, tightens the suspension, so when you guys are putting coilovers, I know H&R makes a coilover for this car already, but um, it, t it takes that whole system out. You're just on a static coilover. So if you guys didn't know that, now you know. Uh, the springs that I'm getting is a spring replacement. It's, a, it's called the VTR spring replacement. It works for ac active suspension, so... Uh, I'll be using that. Uh, I'm getting 19-inch uh, rotoforms. The VTR springs, it has a cup, so you can uh, raise it and lower it as much as you want. The front's supposed to get it down to 2 inches. I measured this, so it should be right on the tire. And plus, I'm getting 19-inch wheels. These are 18s, and they're uh, 40. I'm getting a 19. It might be a 40 or 35. It depends if I go with the 55, 255. So we'll see on that. But I should be right on the tire. There should be no gap. The back lowers to 1.8. So I mean, there still shouldn't be a gap. But if there is, I'll be happy with it. Um, this car is so fun to drive. I've, oh my god, I'm not, I'm not gonna boast about it. But I, I was racing a ZL1. Uh, Camaro and I was keeping up with that. I was starting to pull on him. So APR was right. They do have a lot into this tune. It's very well done. Um, I wish I what I do need. I do need a I need do need the DSG transmission tune. Then I could do the high torque uh, APR stage one tune. That would be really nice. But like I said, um, just money. Anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to stancing this. It'll look very good. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what those wheels are, but they're Rotoform CVTs. I'm doing the 19 inch. Uh, that's what I had on my bug, but I had, they were, what are they? The Vertinis? I don't remember the model name, but uh, I had 19 inch on there, 255s. Looked good. I had like maybe 0.2 or 0.3 of a gap. It was nothing. Uh, I got my windows tinted uh, like five days ago. The back, well, all of them, they're supposed to be all the same, but Volkswagen did a factory tint in the back, so my back is a little bit darker. I don't know if you guys can tell. You guys can see, like, my steering wheel, and in the back, you can't even see the seats. But uh, I might get that redone. It's 15%, then I got a little visor. can't really see because it's dark in my garage. And then, of course, the back. And then my 15th anniversary... Uh, I did find out, which is kind of cool, I kind of had like a rare bug, I guess you can say. Um, the color in the R-Line edition was pretty rare to my car. But I did find out, uh, this car is actually pretty rare itself. It's uh, There's 24 
hundred of the 35th anniversaries made and the uh, I don't know the color but I'm just gonna say semi gray color is pretty hard to get in this car I was looking all around so I at first wanted an Autobahn but I'm honestly more happy with the 35th edition I've got blacked out mirrors these wheels are gonna be gone so it doesn't technically matter uh, it's got a black roof all the interior stuff is so cool it's got this like interior lighting you can change the colors I don't know if you guys saw that if anyone's showing you that online uh, it's got 35th on there. It's like 35th out everywhere. So I'm pretty hype on it. I can upload some uh, videos of me doing some pulls and some uh, 20 rolls and stuff. I have videos. I just it's just hard for me to like edit and stuff. This camera's trash. I don't have a viewfinder, so I can't like see myself recording. Anyways, uh, I'll upload this. I'll keep you guys posted on my. Uh, wheels that are coming I should okay I'm dropping my car off Thursday or Friday it just depends on whatever is best whenever I can drop it off I'm almost positive we'll just do it Thursday and then I can get it before the weekend that'd be awesome so I'll post a video as soon as I get it um, in the meantime I might post my videos of me doing some pulls with the stage one tune I could put the GoPro on and do some driving stuff too as well anyways uh, I'll keep you guys posted hope you guys will uh, stay tuned for this build I haven't seen any GLIs on YouTube APR so I'm hoping I can be the first also this car's literally got like a thousand miles on it and there's a few little things that Volkswagen needs to fix that's a little loose it's like stuff on the roof anyways talk to you guys later uh, like and subscribe if you want to see my build anyways late let's go